Welcome! Today I'm going to run over Twitter cards. This took me forever to figure out, so I thought I would share the information for anybody else who is trying to figure it out. Um, if you go into Twitter, you may have noticed that there are several different ways the images can pop up. In one way, um, there's an image with a description. You can actually add to this description. And if you click on anywhere inside the box on the image or the description, it's going to open up another it's going to open up the website for you. The other way is a little image with a summary and a description. So this is the first one. It takes you there. If you click on anywhere in that box, it also is going to take you to the applicable website. And so I can also go to the website by clicking on the short link, right? So there's the website. There's the short link. It's going to the exact same place. It's taking a minute more to load. And then the third thing you might see, as far as images are concerned on Twitter, is an image. So in this example, I uploaded the, the information, and then I just uploaded an image to my scheduling tool. So when I click on the image, it actually just pulls the image up into Twitter. It doesn't take me anywhere. The only way I can get to the applicable website is by actually clicking on the link itself. And as you can imagine, if that's the only way to get there, I might be less likely to click. I might decide that it's too much of a bother to go to any of these um, websites. So I'm going to show you, um, I want to show you kind of what these three would look like on the phone. So I took a screenshot. This is the first one. And on my mobile device, if I click on it, it'll take me to the image. And then we start to see the second one, and it has my tweet, and then it has the the small image and the summary. So that's the same thing that we can see there. And then this one, the paid sick leave for Cook County employees, this actually shows up with no image. So you can see I don't even have an image on here. When I click on this, it doesn't even pull up the image. It just pulls up more information about the tweet. So this can this can be a, an issue. Now in some cases, it, some mobile devices, it does pull up the image. This one, for example, I used on, I'm, I'm testing several different social media platforms and you can go look at my other videos that I'm making comparing them as far as posting and scheduling. Um, but I posted this on another, a different social media platform than I have, I posted the other ones on. And you can see that on my mobile device, it does show an image, but when I click on the image, it actually just pulls up the picture. So even if it shows an image on your mobile device, it still does not give you a live link. So in order to, in order to get these, either this, some, well, I guess that's sort of a general statement I was about to state. If you want a large image with a summary, there's only one way to do that, and that is with a Twitter card. Twitter cards are um, basically code that you put into your website and it tells Twitter how to post this. A Twitter card will give you the ability to have this large image and the summary. In my opinion, this is the best way to go because images are beautiful and we're visually oriented. Some social media platforms uh, such as Buffer, um, MeetEdgar.com, and um, Zoho Social they will they'll post this preview automatically so even if you don't have a Twitter card you can do this with a Twitter card on any like Hootsuite will not post an image unless you have a Twitter card some of the others like Buffer or Zoho Social they will post without a Twitter card they'll post as if you had a Twitter card but they'll only post this kind of an image a summary I actually did this with Zoho Social I did another one, like I did this one with Buffer. So I was experimenting how the different social medias plays. Um, I, I did this image only with Hootsuite, but I had to upload the image manually, which was kind of a pain. And just like I discussed, it doesn't actually do as much for you. So if you want to get this kind of a Twitter card or this kind of a Twitter card, and you have WordPress, if you have, um, there's Two main plugins that I'm aware of that'll do this. One is Yoast and one is All in Social. It just so happens that the website that I'm managing uses All in Social and I could not find any ways to get that that going so I thought I'd make a video of it. So if we go to the All in Social and I go to the Feature Managers task, 
under this social meta, I'm just going to hit activate. Now you can notice that it went to deactivate it, and over here on the left hand side, I now have this social meta icon or link that I can click on. So when I do that, there's a couple of things that I just want to make you aware. First of all, under image settings, I use feature images in my blog posts. If I add, if you add images that you'd like to use into your articles, you can choose to do them from custom fields or from content. I'm going to click feature image. If I don't click this feature image, then I have to designate the image on every single post that I do. So it becomes a lot more time cumbersome, especially if I'm adding this and I already have a bunch of content. Then it would take me a lot of time to go back and designate it. When I go to Twitter, I'm going to tell it that I want a Twitter summary large image. This is a Twitter summary. This is a Twitter summary large image. And you're going to want to put in your, your Twitter handle and you're going to want to put in your website. Now there are other settings. There are things here you can do with Facebook. I haven't explored those, so I'm just doing this tutorial on Twitter. So you're going to update your options. And now I'm going to go to my posts. I'm going to click on my posts. I only need to do these steps one time. So I only have to pick any of my posts and it's going to make this live for all of my, um, for all of it. So I just want to show you this really fast. If I look at, if I look at my, I'm going to grab this link. Right now I've added the Twitter card, but I haven't actually finished activating it. So if I go to the Twitter validator, and I'll post this link on the description, and I validate the Twitter card, it's going to give me um, some Twitter card. But remember how I put Twitter summary large image? This is just a summary. So it is giving me a Twitter card, but it's not giving me that large image. That's because I haven't finished looking at it. So if I come back here and I scroll all the way down to where I have my SEO, which kind of always gets lost. You can actually move this down, which is what I'm going to do. So if I go to my social settings, first of all, um, I can manually choose an image. If I choose an image here, it's going to show that image for a large summary, but I'm going to have to go show that image, just like I, I mentioned, because of because of the other well, because I chose on the default image, I chose custom in an image, it's showing this default image. If I wanted to override that image, I could upload a different image and I could override it. If I don't have, if I just have a default, like I, at that, where I showed you that default, um, it's not going to show you any image at all. And then you're going to have to come into every single time and update that. That's kind of a pain. I didn't want to do that. But what you do want to do is scroll down here and choose summary large image and just update it. Even though that was already chosen, it hadn't actually updated it. So it hadn't actually, um, you know, it wasn't actually live. So let's do that. Now the other thing, this thing you will have to do every single time. You'll notice if I go in here and I preview this, I'm now showing a large summary. So even though I didn't actually have to change it, you might have to change it. Make sure that your individual page shows Twitter large image. Once you hit save, every page you have is going to default to this. But you'll notice that right here I don't have a description. And this is kind of a pain with the all-in-one SEO. I don't know if Twitter does this differently. So if I update this and I come back and I validate this, you'll notice that I'm going to get, let's do this again. I don't think I was completely loaded. Now when I click on this, it shows this uh, summary that I had. If you get this message, then this is, this means that you haven't installed your Twitter card right. And I'd go back through those this tutorial and make sure you didn't skip any steps 
or it means that you've got you don't have it installed at all either it's installed incorrectly or it's not installed so this is a different website I checked out so once you do that you will have these previews and you'll be able to um, hopefully increase your click-through rate to your website and get more traffic over um, I think unfortunately in this high demand society we all get a little lazy I know I do and I don't always click on a link if I tried the you know if I tried the image and it didn't go anywhere I don't always go looking for the link I just move on to the next thing so hopefully this helps you to increase your traffic have a great day if you like this give me some thumbs up and be sure to follow me thanks have a great day